Good morning everybody. I'm going to have a look at testing um, today. So to test your programs, what you need to do. And there's two important topics I'd like to discuss. First of all, the test data and then test checking. So if we go have a look at the test data and uh, let's take this following program that we're going to work with. So, we are, oops, sorry, let me just re-center it. There we go. Okay, so this program says I need to get a test percentage from the user and then go and assign a letter grade according to these rules and we need to use a function for the letter grade assignment. Okay. Apart from that let's just first of all have a look at test data. Now test data would normally fall under a few categories. First of all, I will need to use valid data within each of the test ranges. What does that mean? We're going to have a 35 or 34 maybe, um, a 54, a 62 maybe, a 74, and an 88. Okay, so those values falls within each of these ranges. So I'm testing for valid data within each range. Now I need next boundary values. I need to make sure my if statement does exactly the right job every time. So that means on the edge values, so 0 for example, and 49, and 50 on the dot, and then 59 and 60, and 69 and 70, and 79 and 80, and 100. All of those must give me the correct letter grade each time. I will also need to test for invalid data so that means minus 1, 101 and we can include 120 as well and later on when we learn about non-numeric data I can also enter something like Let's say something the user wanted to enter um, 77 but the finger slipped and I don't have a 77 but a 7y. Okay, so currently we're not using that at all but very soon you'd start to make provision for something like this as well. We can keep it in, in the list of test data. Okay, so I wrote down this test data horizontal. Um, each of these values, very often we can just fill it in in a table like this. So with each of these test data values, we need to go and determine what would the letter grade be. So let's say this is the percentage and the letter grade would be. So for 34 we're going to have a letter grade of F. 54 will need to give me a D. 62 will need to give me a C. Okay I filled in all the data quickly. 
this seems like quite a bit of data but then later on in industry we're going to provide stuff that is called unit tests where we code all these tests and then we don't need to provide the input to the user anymore we simply need to call the program to run the unit tests for us for now for you first years you'll need to manually input all the values and manually make sure the grade is correct okay if we go a little bit further then we might have already written some planning steps for the program so let's say we want to get a percentage determine the letter grade and display the letter grade and we decided to use the following if statement take note it's one percentage that you need to test for various values so if else if if else if is needed The next important thing I now need to talk to you about is desk checking. This is where we manually go have a look at either planning or programming code and we make sure that the logical steps are in the correct order. We go through the program to check that the program will do its job. So I want to now take this initial planning of mine and I just want to desk check it. We already have data so we can just as well use that data over there. Okay so let's say we get a percentage and we're going to start with the valid data in each range. Let's assume we get 34. Next, we need to determine the letter grade. If 34 is less than 100, it's true. This if statement says the grade is A then. That's obviously a fault. Okay. Just writing an if statement is useless if we didn't check it. And on a first glance, this if statement looks as if it's going to do the job perfectly fine but as soon as I start with data let's take 62 62 is also going to give me the first test 62 less than 100 would be true that would also give me an A okay so this if statement is rather useless it doesn't do the job at all correct I will need to go and work with that change it and this is what this checking will help us to find this checking is when you take a program or planning like this and go step by step by step through the programming code to make sure that the sequence of the statements and that the intended um, actions will take place so over here this if statement must be rewritten I should most probably if I do it do it as follows I'm first going to test if the percentage is valid so if it's bigger or equal to 100 and if the percentage is less or equal to a uh, big or equal to zero less or equal to a hundred and I'm um, just writing if statements here we can add the VB then if you want it so this all need to fall then within the if statement I will have another one to test for or to specify the data is invalid
invalid data message. We can save it. And now I can go and work a little bit. Um, if I know my data is within the range 0 to 100, then if I test for big or equal to 80, I should have grade A. And again, if you want to, we can go and add the then. So the next range for B, big O equal to 70. Big O equal to 60. Big O equal to 50. And then I actually don't need this else. Anything that would be that must be B or equal to 50. This part over there would be anything less than 50. Eh? I can add a comment if I want to. If the data is not within 0 to 100, then it would be invalid. Okay, so something like that. I've done some disk checking now. I found an error. I rewritten my code, even if it's the planning only. And now I can do some disk checking with the data again, make sure it's good. So let's start with the valid values within the range again. I get a percentage, I say it would be 34. Now I need to test. 34, is that big or equal to 0? Yes. 34 is less or equal to 100? Yes. So true and true gives me a true. That means we're going on to the next part. 34, is that big or equal to 80? No. 34, big or equal to 70? No. 34, big or equal to 60? No. 34, big or equal to 50? No. Means the else will execute gives us an if and that stops so that will display an if so that is good yes hey happy and now I can take the next value and the next value let's just take 62 get a 62 is 62 big or equal to 0 and less or equal to 100 true is 62 big or equal to 80? No. 62 big or equal to 70? No. 62 big or equal to 60? True. That means the grade would be C. That stops. That stops. That displays the if. Okay. I'm good. So now I would at least test everything within the ranges and then I know I'm good to go and write the programming code. So test checking, I can either planning like this and have a look the, the if statement is not perfect syntax or we can um, take some real programming code and test check that as well.